Yo, what is good, YouTube, and welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're going to be doing gameplay with the brand new Sapphire Nate Robinson, who is a 5'9 point guard, but still, I think, going to be a really fun offensive card. Now, defensively, he's going to be completely non existent, and he is very small, but I am excited to try the card out and see if he is semi viable offensively and hopefully at least a very fun card in NBA 2K24. My team, before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button to help me push towards the 14,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. Would really appreciate it if do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so nate rob is 5'9 at pg 86 offense 79 defense coming with a 80 driving layup 83 mid-range 85 three ball and 95 driving duck the offensive stats are phenomenal really good free throw as well 86 ball handle 84 pass sag offensive stats all the way around as high as i need them to be love it defensively he's completely awful 94 speed suit on excel is incredible hopefully he moves pretty well and then 88 lateral quickness as well looking at the badges he's got 18 golds and five silver it's a good amount of gold badges he's got acrobat fast twitch area wizard giant slayer posterizer slithery blinders dead eye pogo stick bunny precision dunker spin cycle two step blow by physical handles and triple strike also silver comeback kid free points open look spot finder and speed booster no handles for days on the card would have really liked to see like gold speed booster gold handles for days on him simply because it he's not going to be good regardless regardless because he's 5'9", soup him up. Make him really fun offensively so people who want to use him can because he is only 5'9". So uh, I've heard he's got, I think he's got Kemba Escape, but it doesn't seem like it's actually that good. Uh, people are saying that his misdirect, Kemba's misdirection was really good, but it doesn't seem that good right now. I don't know. Maybe I'm crazy, but I'm not super impressed. Regardless, uh, really, bro, I don't, dude, he's 5'9". It would not hurt to give him a decent release. His release is kind of slow, man. I'm not going to lie. It's not that fast. That's really disappointing, bro. This, like, this is the type of card. Give him a very good release and give him gold handles for days. Please make him decent. It's not that. It wouldn't be very hard to make him a pretty good offensive card. He's still not going to be viable because how small he is. So make him at least fun to use. But with a release this slow, he's really not that capable of a uh, card to use. And then slash in the rim, he does have gold posterizer. I wonder how close you have to get to the rim to really trigger a dunk with a guy who's 5'9". There we go. He gets a front clutch there. I mean... It's still going to be fun to use, but dang, give him a decent release, please. Come on, 2K. We don't, it's not that hard. I mean, just give him a semi-decent release, and he's going to be a dog. I will say, with the shooting patch that came out today, I don't really notice that big of a difference. The game feels pretty similar right now, so I don't know. Regardless, let's hop into a game. Let's see what Nate Rob can do. Oh, my gosh. What defense by Nate Robinson on that first possession. Love to see it. Oh, my goodness. Hey, look at Nate starting off hot. Wasn't even commentating. I was, like, coughing at something stuck in my throat or whatever. But love to see that start. Beautiful stuff for Nate Robinson. Getting a contest and then a getting out in transition and getting the bucket as well. And Shaq just absolutely bullies my Chris Bosh. That's okay, though. I need the spacing, so I'm fine with Bosh on the court. I haven't even set up a freelance or anything like that, but we're going to see what we can do. We're going to try to get off the screen. Again, we're just going to try to get downhill. I think my best bet is to try to get to the rim, I though he's 5'9", so if I don't get a dunk, good luck. Um, see if we can just go right by Steph. We'll hit our pop, catch, and shoot. Great pass, great shot. Blake knocks down the three, and that is what you love to see. Good playmaking by Nate Robinson as well. If they gave him a good release and handles for days, he'd be a dog, bro. Like, offensively, he'd be a dog. Defensively, he'd still stink, but... He'd be fun to use, at least. Like, there's a certain amount of viability and value to that type of card, I feel like, as I'm just getting bullied right now by Shaq. He's getting some good animations, and we are only up by one, despite starting off the game pretty well on the offensive end of the court. Going to try a two-man here, see if we can burst downhill with Nate Rob. We're running into our own players. I got to get my freelance on real quickly. Let's get some spacing on the court, because I need good spacing so I can truly run my offense the way that I want to. Uh, come set me a screen here. Blake, between the legs, burst through the... Wow, he does not even touch the screen, but Blake still gets downhill. Blake's going to lay it in over... Yo, no way. Steph just got to stop on that. Maybe we can get a fade or something. I don't know. We'll try to get off the screen. See, what's his fade looking like? Fade is kind of slow, too. He's His animations just aren't that good. Like... I don't know. He jumps at me. That's now 100% of the time going to be a blocking foul. So that's cool, I guess, that people are getting, I guess, penalized for doing that. And he gets a steal on the inbounds pass. No. Contest. Step up as much as you can on him. Step up as much as you can. Nate Robinson is so small, bro. Even next to Steph, he is tiny. I mean, he's... There's nothing he's going to be able to do defensively, bro. I just need him to be better offensively. That's what I was really hoping for with this card is, like, knowing he would be bad defensively, knowing he wouldn't truly be viable, and needed him to be better offensively. And he's just, unfortunately, not really that good offensively. He doesn't feel super fast. I know he's got 94 speed, but short players still feel kind of slow with the ball in his hand. So 94 speed really feels like about 80. And we're not able to get downhill for the dunk on that one either. He's got a couple of decent plays, but overall, not really doing too much right now. And 
I mean, what can I ask him to do, to be honest? There's not a lot he can do. Uh, we do get the stop there on Shaq, attempting to get the putback to go and missing it. Could have just front faded. I'm just going to shoot this one. I think that's enough space. Cat closing out. We greened it. Beautiful four-pointer for Nate Rob shooting the open three. He does have an 85 three ball. When you get the open space, it should be pretty knocked down. It's just slower than I wanted it to be. Good help over by Blake. Helps us to get that board, and he's out in transition. This dude is reaching like a lot right now. Swing it over to Nate. Uh, Nate, we're going to go behind the back. We're going to go base. Uh, yeah, just nothing. Uh, you think I could throw a lob? I'm throwing a lob. Go get it, Nate. Okay, you missed the lay. Bro, why are physics in this game for five foot nine players so bad? Like, dude, he just hit the underside of the, of the rim on a layup. He didn't go up for a dunk, even though he's a 95 driving duck player who has hot gold aerial wizard. I don't. And then I just, his animations are slow. His spin jumper is slow. I wanted this card to be so much fun, and he's just so mediocre, which is really disappointing. But six points, one rebound, one assist. I mean, he has at least made a contribution to this game. Going up against Steph Curry, who's the best point guard in the game. So, I mean, we're making his stat line look okay. Get to the round. I need a dunk. Let's go, Nate. Beautiful downhill drive. Gets downhill. Luckily, my opponent isn't the best player in the world, even though he's got a really, really good squad. His team, I mean, he doesn't seem like he's that insane. So, Nate Robinson hopefully just gets run, run around. Ooh, man. Did not look like he had 88 lateral quickness there, but um, steps out of bounds with Shaq, and we're looking okay here. A minute 27 left, up by two. If we could score here, that'd be great. Nate is really gassed. No handles for days on a five foot nine player is another huge liability, but uh, attack the rim here. Nate just completely gassed. I haven't even done a dribble move, and he's absolutely gassed. We're going to back, back cut Chris Bosh, uh, throw it down to him, and then just go up. Honestly, Steph Curry, just go up. Shooting foul. Beautiful. Let's go. I was in the process of trying to go up, and Curry fouls me, and we're going to get to the free throw line with a chance to take a four-point lead. Making the first free throw 93%. I suck with free throws of the meter on. I don't know why, but I greened that one. Never mind. Maybe I'm good with the free throws of the meter on. Knocking that one down. First time I think I've greened a free throw with the meter on all year as soon as I say I suck at it. Uh, but good defense here. Stay in front. Beautiful. Nice. Get through the screen. Contest. Good D. He does throw the slip, and it's a good slip. He gets a dunk. We'll live with it, though. Two-point lead still. Just don't want to give up anything easy. We want to see if we can get ourselves something easy. Really, my only chance of getting a bucket with Nate Robinson is early in the possession trying to run past him. That was my only opportunity. I, all I could do was tap my right trigger once, basically, and I was immediately going to be out of stamina. So I had to make it count. And we get past Steph Curry by denying that screen and get ourselves another dunk for Nate Robinson. We're making his stat line actually look pretty good. 10-1-1 one, one is nice. I mean, definitely making him look okay. I just He had potential to actually be a really solid, fun offensive card if 2K had done a Properly. He still wouldn't have been OP or stupid or it would have been fine. Like he would, nobody would have actually used him at any sort of sweaty competitive level, but he'd be a fun card for people to use. And cards like Nate Robinson or a short and can dunk are really fun, but it's just, ah, make him truly viable. Give him a release where I feel like I can put him on the court and score enough of them offensively where I can make the defense not feel like the biggest liability in the world. Another great pass to Bosch off the pop. Nate Robinson with another assist has had a really solid game. 10, one and two. I like this card a little bit, but I don't actually like him a lot. I would never use him in any sort of sweaty game at all. I don't feel like he can really compete against a top-tier player at the point guard position if uh, that player is a similar skill level player. But uh, luckily, we were able to get a pretty good performance out of Nate in this one. That's pretty good defense, I will say. And he's out in transition one more time. Nate Robinson, throw yourself a lob. You better go dunk that. He shoots a layup. I know you're tired, but Nate, come on, man. <laughs> Whatever. He's a, see, he played pretty good. Oh, no. No way. No way. Okay, I was going to say, if Nate Robinson hit that, that would have been insane. 12, 1, and 2 on 5 of 11, and 1 and 2 from 3. Had that steal at the end as well. Good performance. Let's hop back to the main menu, and let's beat the card. I had fun using this Nate Robinson card, but I don't know if I'll ever really use him much on my account or anything. I just think he doesn't move well enough, doesn't have handles for days, doesn't have a, an elite jump shot or even really a particularly good jump shot. I just wanted him to be this really fun offensive card that was going to be decently viable if you wanted to use him in triple threat or something like that uh, or clutch time or whatever in a lot, not so sweaty game mode and have success. And like against a bad player, he still is, but any card is against a bad player. So I don't know. I'm just not particularly impressed. I thought they had a potential potential to make this card really, really good. And he's still very fun to use. I had fun. I legitimately enjoyed doing this gameplay, but I just don't think he's great. I don't know. That is what it, that is. It is what it is though. That's going to do it for this video. I hope y'all did enjoy. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. And I appreciate y'all. Peace.